The next day when they came by, they saw it. And Peter calling to remember and saith unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which you cursed is withered away. You know, we don't have the benefit of hearing the way he said this, hearing the inflection of his voice. But I can guarantee you, he didn't just go, Master, the fig tree which you cursed is withered away. <laughs> it was more like he was shocked, like, Master, the fig tree that you cursed, it's dead, it's withered away. He was shocked. And we don't have the benefit of hearing the inflection of Jesus' voice either. But when he, Jesus answered and said, have faith in God, I don't believe it was like, have faith in God. It was, it was like, have faith in God. What's wrong with you guys? I've been with you for years and you still don't get it. He was shocked with them. And then he said this unto him. He says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith, he which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. There are four times that the word say or saith is used in there. And three of them, he says, whosoever will say unto this mountain, and I don't believe he's talking about or limiting it specifically to a physical mountain. He's just talking about to whatever your problem is. Whatever your problem is, speak to it. Whosoever will say to this problem, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he say will come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. So there's a number of things. You have to speak to your problem. Most Christians talk to God about their problem. God, I've got this problem. God, this bill is due. God, would you do something? That's not what he told you to do. He told you to talk to your problem. Speak to your problem. Implied in there, if you sit down and really think about this, for you not to talk to God about your problem, but to just talk to your problem implies that you understand you have authority over things, that things will obey you. So this is implying that instead of asking God, speaking to God like, God, I'm nothing, I have nothing, but I know that you could solve this problem. Would you fix it? That's not faith. When you talk to your problem, it means that you understand that God has already done his part. Jesus has died and given us the authority. And for you to just speak to your problem instead of speaking to God about your problem implies that you are taking your authority and making this work. So you speak to the mountain and don't doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say comes to pass. You will have whatsoever you say.